Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about some pry bars. Maybe we'll get into a little bit of leverage and I just want to show you some more tools. Um, so pry bars are, are very popular and they're great if you need to move some pretty heavy weights around. Um, the two main styles that we'll be using is just a regular pry bar or a heel bar just like this. Now, I want to go over these really quickly. We, um, the pry bars we use have the handles. Uh, they seem to work pretty good. We try to buy the ones that have the striking head on the back. If they don't have a striking head on the back, they're not supposed to be hit with a hammer. What will happen is if you hit them with a hammer, it'll actually shatter the handle and then your pry bar will be ruined. Um, the cool thing about these is they usually come in like a set of four or five. Ours, uh, I think, is a set of five. And the reason we got the set was because there's this really long one and you can see I think this thing's about 36 inches. The longer a pry bar is, the more leverage you're going to get. And I'll try to, I'm going to try to demonstrate that here in a second, okay? Like I said, these are, these are just great general use pry bars. You can get them into places. It's really nice. Sometimes you need two pry bars to kind of pry against something. And these sets are really nice to have. Uh, there are things like a pinch bar. They're, they're nice. Um, but I personally, I like the handles. They seem to make things a lot easier to grip and get some leverage on. So now these heel bars, these are pretty cool. Now you notice the one side is tapered all the way up or to a big good distance. The reason they do that is so that you can use it to line up things. Like you could line up uh, two holes together or something like that. Like two, two massive plates, you can shove this through the center to get the holes to line up. That way when you set it down with a crane or something like that, they, uh, it, it, it lines up correctly. Or if you have like two plates laying on top of each other and there's a hole in there, you kind of pull it around with this bar. That, that's a really cool feature of one of these. Now the heel bar is really good for getting into some really tight places and actually working some parts off. These are really cool if you have to like work on some gearboxes and you need to pull off like bearings. These are very popular. You can get like two of these, you can get them on either side of the bearing and kind of pull outwards and it'll put, shove that bearing up. So just try to use this bar um, as effectively as possible. Um, it's awesome. I love, these, I love these things. Usually these come in sets of three too. Um, again, sometimes you need to use two or something like that. They're awesome, okay? So like I said, I want to demonstrate some stuff with leverage and I want to do it on our, our bigger motor. So let me go get that set up and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you. Okay, so a very popular job that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put shims underneath this motor. And I believe this motor weighs about a thousand pounds. So to really show you that leverage in action, I wanted to take our shorter pry bar and we can see how how much more difficult it is to lift it up. You still could do it. I, I mean, I'm getting it up there, but the reality is, is if I now I have to hold it with one hand while I put a shim in, this is gonna become very difficult. So I can take this longer bar right here, put it in here, and you can see that I can easily with one hand push it up, slide my shims under, and be done with this, okay? So it's just, working hard or working smarter and not harder at this point okay so just try to use the tools effectively if you can so let me get this out of there all right now like i said with the heel bar we have that that pointer there if i was trying to line up say the holes for these bolts i could potentially take them in there and kind of pull the motor around or i could take it up from the bottom all right also if i wanted to i could take the pry or this heel bar and I could uh, wedge it in between some of this, this block here that's welded on, and I can slide the motor around very easily, okay? So just remember, try to use these tools effectively. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys today on pry bars. Oh yeah, and flat tip screwdrivers, they're not pry bars. Don't use them like that.